we're gonna glaze our slab built pot. And the really important thing to remember when you're glazing is you wanna have about the bottom quarter inch to be free of glaze along here and no glaze on the bottom because it ends up uh, sticking to the shelf of the kiln and then it break, you have to break it off. Now the um, glaze in the, that you put on looks a little bit different than um, when you're putting it on, it looks different than what you get in the end. So just keep that in mind. I have a couple sample tiles, but they're not on the brown clay, they're on white clay. So you can, you can look at those and get a little bit of an idea. I've also labeled these. So when you put them away, make sure you put the one with the same title on their back so people know what they're getting. I decided I'm gonna do uh, kind of a Pete the Cat look. So I'm gonna start with some white. And I'm gonna start with a light color first. And I just dip the tip of my paintbrush. And I'm gonna make his eyes white. And um, you can see here that it's uh, much thinner than it is here. So actually I wanna make about two layers until I can't really see the brown clay coming through it. And so that's gonna to have to dry for a minute I'm going to come over here and go in like that. Come back in. It's a little bit more like applying nail polish than it is painting. Um, so I'm just kind of dabbing in these areas so that it has got this nice sheen to it. Um, so I'm gonna come back and do the pupils a little bit later. Um, I'm gonna, just like when we paint, I'm gonna wipe and I'm gonna rinse and I'm gonna wipe. This brush seems like it's really, needs to be rinsed a little bit more. And I've got two sizes. So if I wanna do small amounts of glaze then I'm going to uh, use this one, large amounts for this. You really wanna get this dried off pretty well cause you don't wanna water down your glaze. I don't need that anymore, so I'm gonna put the lid back on it and put it here for someone else to use. Um, next, I'm gonna make a little red nose. We don't have any pink glaze, and purple is really hard to come by as well, so um, I have to kind of decide what to do from there. I'm gonna put this in here. All right, and that looks fairly nice. Now it looks pink here, but it will actually be quite red when it's time to take it out of the kiln. So I wipe, I rinse, and I wipe, just like we do when we paint. And then I'm going to come back and paint those pupils black. A little bit of overlap of glaze is okay, but it doesn't really work like paint. You can't mix the colors. All right, now he's starting to look better. All righty, I'm gonna wipe, and I'm gonna rinse, and I'm gonna wipe, and that's pretty much all I need this little one for. So I'm gonna set it aside, and I'm gonna get this royal blue. Let me mix these lids up. The royal blue looks kind of like a dusty purple but it's not going to be purple so I'm going to go ahead and just make a line along here so that I know where the glaze should stop so if you go all the way down to the bottom it's going to be a problem Like I said, it's kind of like putting on nail polish. So I'm gonna give you guys some time to do this. 
I'm gonna end up glazing this whole thing and glazing the inside as well. 